This ain't your grandpa's Skylark. No, this machine is so much more impressive. Well, the idea was that I just wanted to kind of find something like a diamond in the rough and, and build it. And Jeff's like, what do you think? And I was like, well, we should do some cool stuff with it. The 175 started life as a trike with a geared engine. And the guy that I bought it from had put it on its tail with an STC, um, and it still had the GO300, and he'd put the 180 gear legs under it. And so when we got it, we said, what do we want to do? So owner Jeff Whiteley and a and Kyle Bushman put an 0470 and 80 inch prop over 31 inch tires, but they weren't done tinkering there. We have a leading edge cuff, we have VGs, we have uh, VGs on the vertical underneath the horizontal. We've extended the elevator on the back to give more effectiveness on the flare. And all the old systems got gutted. And so in this case, it's a lot safer airplane because we put in every system that's essential for flight. We put in brand new everything and we literally did just the minimum. The panel is all in for $7,500 and figured out we could do dual iPad Pros, uh, a cheap engine monitor, the bomb, we could get synthetic vision. It also has angle of attack and they didn't pay aviation prices for the rest of the stuff either. Um, went with a lot of automotive type, you know, things off of Amazon switches and, and things just to kind of customize it to us. And But do like lights and we put rock crawler lights on it. To do all this legally, Kyle called around to the FISDO and found a DAR who frequently works in the motion picture industry. So I said, let's do it the right way. We'll go through it and like, I said, don't, we don't want to do loopholes. We just want to do it the right way. What is that? And if it fits our mission, we're going to do it. And so that's how we got to experimental exhibition class and it fit what we wanted to do perfectly. The rules for experimental exhibition allow the airplane to be taken to air shows as a demonstrator and for the pair to fly it around to stay proficient in it. There's no longer a radius from home base that the experimental exhibition class aircraft may be flown for proficiency, so it doesn't affect the practical usability of the airplane. And if they ever wanted to, the airplane could be taken back to certify. But that's not the plan. Since I shot this story at High Sierra Fly-In last autumn, they've added leading edge slats to this experiment of ingenuity. Paul Harrop, AOPA Live.